Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's product school webinar on breaking into product marketing. I'm Annie, and I'm a senior product marketing manager at Pinterest on the brand safety team, working on tools and features to help keep our platform more safe and positive for advertisers. And today I'm joined by a wonderful panel of product marketing leaders, and I can't wait to hear and learn from all of their experiences and insights. To kick things off, let's start with some brief introductions on our panel today. Uh, Mohit, why don't you kick us off? Sure, Annie. Hi, everybody. So I'm doing currently product marketing for Revolut Business, the B2B side of Revolut. Uh, yeah, and I'm based in Paris, so happy to be sharing and discussing with you all today. Great. Uh, what about you, Miguel? Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Miguel, and I work as a product marketing manager uh, doing brand reputation and, and consumer apps for Google in Spain and, and Portugal. Uh, I've been working with marketing for more than 10 years, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to, to be here. Thank you for, for inviting me. Happy to have you here as well. And last but certainly not least, Lori, would you like to introduce yourself? Thanks, Annie. Hi, everyone. I'm Lori, and I'm currently based in San Francisco as the lead product marketing manager for WhatsApp's business app products at Meta, uh, and I'm responsible for managing the monetization and growth of WhatsApp business. Uh, I've been at Meta for close to four years now, uh, and I've been in marketing in general for over 10 years now, and specifically in product marketing for over seven years. Happy to be here. Great. Thanks, everyone. Well, we have a few questions prepared today for our panel, but please feel free to input any questions into our chat. And as a disclaimer, we want to remind everyone that each panelist represents their own views and not those of their companies. To start, I'd love to know how each of you got into product marketing. I remember when I first started in my career, I hadn't really ever heard of product marketing before. It was a fairly new space, um, and it took me some exploring to finally land into a PMM role. I'm curious what all of your uh, paths were like to get into product marketing. Um, why don't we start with you, Lori? Sure. So um, as you mentioned, Annie, I think it's you know safe to say that none of us really grew up aspiring to become product marketers specifically just because the field is still you know relatively new compared to other roles in tech. Um, so I personally first learned about the product marketing role when I was job hunting for internships during business school uh, here in the US. Uh, before business school, I was working in Japan uh, and I was in consulting, uh, focusing on advi advising clients on their marketing strategy. Uh, as well as like target segmentation based on data analysis. And um, I would say, you know, when people often pursue an MBA to change their career trajectory in at least one of three ways, that would be geographic location, role, or industry. And so when I was searching for internships and full-time opportunities out of business school, I knew uh, that I wanted to change all three of those. And I was laser focused on pursuing a marketing role in tech in the heart of Silicon Valley. And so I was naturally drawn to the product marketing role as most openings that I was looking at really required or strongly preferred an MBA or a consulting background. And I ended up landing a product marketing internship at PayPal. Um, it, I really enjoyed it there and was successful uh, to get a return offer. And so I joined after business school and I've been in product marketing uh, ever since. Thanks, Lori. Um, what about you, Miguel? What was your path like? So I, uh, I uh, commenting on on the the comment comment we received. I started I studied public relations and uh, I started my career as a planner at an ad advertising agency because I, I wanted to work with uh, advertising. Uh, and then I spent around uh, two years working uh, with clients doing like. Uh, general uh, planning for, for clients in Brazil. Uh, that's uh, where I started my career. Then I spent some more time uh, working as a, a business development for a tech company. And uh, at the time as well, as Lori mentioned, I I didn't know I, I, I would end up working with as a, as a PNM. Uh, I knew like what was advertising. I knew what was like marketing general. So uh, I decided to uh, leave the, 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 the agency side and started working in clients, in, in, in companies. And also I, I wanted to, to work in, in the tech industry. So uh, I, I looked for marketing roles in, in general. 
and uh, I noticed that there the, the were a few transferable skills I could use uh, to, to learn this role. And that's when I applied to uh, a marketing role at Google in, in Brazil. Uh, was accepted and uh, at the beginning it was a, a pretty generalistic marketing role, uh, working uh, worked with brand and, and other topics. But then kind of it started uh, as product got prioritized, uh, projects got prioritized. I was kind of being uh, pushed to product marketing and uh, that's where uh, I'm now. Great, thanks for sharing. Um, what about you, Mohi? What was your experience like? Yeah, I think as everybody has mentioned, product marketing is fairly new. And when we started, it was not really a space which we aspired to be in. So my experience is a bit different than uh, you all here. I'm an engineer uh, uh, turned marketeer essentially. So I started off my career as an engineer. Uh, then I moved into business as I gained interest into doing actually understanding the business, how it works and marketing side of things. And eventually started as a consultant for SAP. So doing tech consulting uh, for a couple of years before doing another kind of you know marketing degree to really move into the marketing space. I think this blend of interest in tech and marketing together, coupled with the education, uh, you know, in both sides, tech as well as marketing. When I was looking out for my first job after my business school, I was like, this is the space which could fit the best, you know, in which I could offer the most in terms of to a company. So the blend of marketing and tech led me to my first uh, internship in a company called Amadeus. So it's a B2B tech company based in France as well. Uh, and from there, slowly you progress into the role. And I've been doing it for the last eight years now, uh, many in, in Amadeus and then at Revolut. So yeah, I think I would say that this a blend of interest um, education along with some experience from different roles as well is very much applicable to you actually being a product marketing manager and uh, especially the side of customer centricity which comes in being a consultant i've seen plenty of other pmms also who have drawn from their experience in consulting in various ways into actually what we do today so i think that's a bit of my story great thanks for sharing i think as we all heard from the panel here we've all had different experiences getting into product marketing. Um, I know for myself, I started off in marketing for a telecommunications company, and I slowly start to see that there is a lot of transferable skills that would apply to the PMM world. Um, and so I think my next question is, what are some of the skills or experience that you think was very key in helping you land your product marketing role? Um, let's start back with Mohit. Yeah, thanks, Annie. I think, yeah, as I was mentioning, there are a couple of uh, skills which are extremely important for a PM role. I think the biggest one of them would be customer centricity because everything we do here in this role is about the customer and actually how we can solve their issues, understand them and eventually make the product adapt in a way which answers those needs long-term. So that's one of the main skills which is important and a lot of uh, you know jobs out there offer this skill like sales, like consulting, which you have to be in this position where you actually work with customers very often and understand really their need at the core. Two other things which I'll mention is collaboration. This role sits at the heart of a lot of other functions, other teams. So it's very rarely that a PMM would drive everything by themselves, but rather working with a blend of other teams which are cross-functional. So you can be ranging from product owners, product managers, to the sales department sometimes, to the social media team, to the PR team. So you're really at the heart of the thing and you really kind of kind of orchestrate the various things uh, with other people. So building relationships with them, connections with them, and really managing this collaboration is super important. So this is the second thing which is which I'll say is important. And the third one is problem solving. Because in this role, I think in my day-to-day -day job, I'm mostly solving problems for customers or internally how to operate as well in the, in the team, in the company as well. So I think the problem solving part of it is super important to really be able to like solve challenging problems for your customers and build ways in which your product also answers those questions for customers. So those would be my top three, uh, let's say, skills which would be important in a PMM role. Yes, for sure. I think all of those were really important transferable skills. Um, Miguel, did you have anything to add in terms of any skills or experience that you think would be key? Yeah, I, I agree with Mohit. Uh, I would also add, thinking about uh, in a scenario of people that are trying to you know, start off a career already knowing that this is a, a, a role that you can do, 
uh, I would say that having a, a general understanding of uh, marketing is uh, something that uh, can come, uh, that, that you should have, like marketing strategy in general, communication strategy, uh, what is a research? I don't, uh, to, to starting to start off the career, I wouldn't say it's necessary to know how to conduct a research end to end, uh, but at least have a general understanding of anal analyzing data, how how the uh, how it plays uh, into my product, into my my company, and uh, and and as Mohit uh, said, like a basic understanding as well of I would say product and sales of uh, the 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 industry you are applying to. So how does this industry make money? How uh, how is a general how is a general product in this company in this industry structured? Right? Uh, what are their most important uh, features? How how can we uh, help users to uh, learn about these features? So uh, thinking about I don't think uh, you need to have a specific previous experience in the area to, to start, uh, the, of course, to start the career. Uh, for example, I have uh, many colleagues that came from uh, other areas and, and uh, did uh, transfers from, for example, the, the health industry. So perhaps being a, if you are a, a rep uh, in the health industry, you might look for roles in uh, your industry that uh, for, for PMMs, and then you already will know a lot about the business, a lot about uh, how uh, uh, the industry is, a st is structured. So you have a lot to contribute, and then you have uh, less to learn uh, in that role. So I would say uh, those would be where I would be, where, where I would focus if I was trying to start a career as a, as a, as a PMM now and try to look for as many as transferable skills as possible because this is not a career, uh, and at least when we started, that you uh, start developing the skills uh, for that career specifically. Uh, you uh, build from other roles and then you, you start up in, the, in that role. Certainly. Um, last but not least, what about you, Lori? What are some key skills that you thought was really helpful to help you get into product marketing? Yeah, I definitely echo what, you know, Mohit and Miguel said already, but I think for me specifically, the role, uh, the skills that I, that really helped me to break into mar product marketing was really a culmination of all of my prior work experience. So there really isn't, I think the beauty of product marketing is that there's really no one way to get into uh product marketing, which um, because there's so many different sets of skills that really come into play uh, as a product marketer. So for example, uh, my first job answering customer support phone calls really uh, heightened my ability to empathize with customers and understand their pain points, which is a key uh, skill needed when you're trying to understand how to improve products and you know really de uh, deliver like customer centric products as Moki was saying as well. Um, and then my consulting uh, role, like really hone my competitive analysis skills, strategy setting, critical thinking skills. And then business school prepared me to conduct both qualitative and quantitative customer insights research, which is a lot of what we do, um, and also gave me the foundation for understanding marketing frameworks and setting go-to-market strategy. Um, and I'll also say, you know, the uh, the the skills that you that you really need to uh, break into product marketing is not necessarily the only ones uh, that you'll need to succeed in the role. So you really need to be able to balance these skills that helped you get into product marketing uh, to execute uh, on like inbound and outbound initiatives, but also you really need the ability to drive uh, influence and deliver impact uh, at the end of the day, as we are you know, all here to to you know, deliver outcomes for our products. So if you think about you know, in the 3P framework, like product, process, and people, you really need to understand the product and its customers really well. Uh, it includes understanding and setting the product vision, strategy, and being able to influence the product roadmap based on your inbound work and understanding of customer needs. And on the process and people side, uh, as, as Mohit mentioned, as a PMM, you're really collaborating with so many cross-functional stakeholders and you act as the quarterback between these teams. 
And so you should be able to identify gaps in the current processes, optimize them for more efficiency, and help people, help different teams speak to each other to deliver these outcomes. I think that's a really great point you made about not only focusing on your transferable skills that you had before, but also looking to how you continue to develop and grow as you get into further product marketing experiences. Um, and with that, I know we've talked about our experiences in the past, our different paths to get into product marketing. My next question is, what ultimately had you decide to stay in product marketing for now? And what do you like or not like about your roles within product marketing? Um, why don't we start with Mohit? Yeah, I think why I got into it and why I really like doing what I do, there are two principal reasons. One is, as I mentioned, I'm really customer obsessed. So I really love this challenge of understanding customers and really doing the process to understand and build things which can you know really help them. At the same time, also deliver messaging, which is you know, really impactful for those kind of customers at the end, aiming for their you know success. So that is something which, made, which drives me. And cons with, along with this, what happens is that uh, you know I really like the impact you can drive in the organization as a PMM. So whatever you do is very tangible. So you are having metrics which are associated with whatever you do. And those things are very tangible. So the, the overall job remains dynamic, very dynamic and ever changing, which is a bit of the, let's say, challenge as well to manage. Uh, I would not say I would hate that, but that is the challenge which you manage on a daily basis. But at the end, when you get results out of it, which is, you know, in terms of customer growth, in terms of revenue growth, those are the targets which, uh, you know, in the end, when you see impact, which is tangible and it's really affecting the trajectory of the company, that is where I think you keep getting the motivation and drive to, you know, do that better and better over time. So that's the idea. So I think for me, those are two things which really I enjoy doing, uh, you know, this customer side of things and also driving the success of the company and customers together uh, with very tangible outcomes. Thanks for sharing, Mohit. What about you, Miguel? Uh, for me, it's really like to understand users' behavior and, and, and consumers' behavior in, in general. So that's, uh, and, and understand how we can use what we learn from, uh, from our users and then do something with that that is actionable, similar to what uh, Mohit was was commenting and uh, that possibility of being in a role that you are uh, kind of in the middle of many different areas uh, and you can you have as in your role the ability and the skills to bring uh, users insights and, uh, and understand behavior from from your users and uh, get to understand what other areas are talking about what are their pain points and activate that with what you learn from from the users you uh, you want to achieve that's what i like the most about, about the role so it's like kind of a, a process it, you don't you don't do this every day uh, so sometimes you are having uh, you have been having conversations for a month with the product team or the sales team and then uh, when uh, you see when you do some explorations with users you understand something that uh, you can do so uh, that piece of being in in the middle and having to understand from every part of the business and activating this in a way that is uh, as Mohit said tangible but also with kind of a, a marketing magic to the users that translate everything that it's kind of translating everything that comes in a business language that you are getting inside in a way that the user will see and and think about oh okay that's the the brand i know that the brand i believe and look uh, how cool it is that what they are doing for me that that job that task uh, that process is what i enjoy the most thanks miguel and what about you, Lori? Why did you decide to stay in product marketing and what do you like and not like about the role? Yeah, I think um, very similar to what Miguel and Mohit said, but uh, what really keeps me in this role is being able to speak directly with customers to understand their pain points and needs and really seeing the joy on their faces when we launch valuable products and features that actually improve their daily lives. So for example, um, at my current role, I have the 
uh, opportunity to visit, you know, multiple different countries uh, where we are, we, where we have the most presence uh, in our product. And literally going to these people's homes or their businesses and seeing how they use our products uh, and understanding how we can improve their products and just hearing their stories about how they use, um, you know, our tools on a day to day basis uh, is really what drives me at the end of the day. Um, the other thing is that uh, with the product marketing role, you're kind of like the jack of all trades. You can wear multiple hats uh, and or you you need to <laughs> wear multiple hats uh, and you just gain so much uh, different kinds of experience and skills that you never thought you would be doing. Uh, for example, uh, I had no background in pricing, but uh, as my role in uh, you know figuring out how to monetize uh, the product, I've had to uh, understand how pricing strategy works. What are some uh, ways that pricing models that we can um, you know explore for our product, for example, and actually setting the price. Uh, do a lot of content writing for comms or, or um, you know, a co conference type um, PR uh, work, uh, do a lot of branding, strategy, product naming and design, you really, you name it, like, you literally PMM can delve into any of these areas. So you can really lean into your interests uh, and make the role what you want it to be. Um, I think I saw a lot of questions also around what is the difference with product manager or product management. Um, I think the difference is that, well, first of all, I think product marketing and product management is very closely tied together. I would say product marketing, in my role at least, we act as the right hand man to product management. Um, and, you know, we really worked hand in hand to figure out, uh, you know, what is ultimately best for the product. But I think the difference is like, what is each group um, or role responsible for at the end of the day? Like as a product marketing manager, you would obviously, you know, be influencing the product roadmap uh, with all of the customer insights that you, you gain through your inbound work. But ultimately the PM is responsible for finalizing that roadmap, for example. Um, or product marketing, you know, we have a lot of cross-functional stakeholders who help with the go-to-market uh, land, you know, the, the product launch moment. But ultimately, product marketing is the one who's responsible uh, for making sure we get that word out there, setting the value propositions and, and product positioning, uh, and, you know, really delivering that narrative out in the, mar in the, in the market. Thanks, Lori. Certainly, I think having a strong relationship between PMM and PM is very key when it comes to launching features in the market. Um, I did see another question in the comment section. Um, how is product marketing different from marketing itself? Uh, Miguel, did you or Mohi, did you want to jump in on this one? Yeah, I can go if that's fine. I think that there's one key difference between the two which is that on the product marketing side, as Laurie was mentioning, you're really accompanying the product very closely. So you are able to, in a way, influence where it goes long-term in terms of strategy, in terms of actually what is in the product. Whereas on the marketing side, it can be a lot of different things you could be doing. You could be doing brand marketing, you could be doing comms, you could be doing uh, you know, other kinds of marketing, but not really influencing where exactly a particular product goes and, and why it should go there. So this is something which is, I think, a core difference. However, the skill set you would need to execute both of them is pretty much also marketing. You need to still be able to drive, you know, create narratives, create value propositions, create messaging, which is, I think, across the marketing domain. But the key difference is that you are really accompanying the product through its development. And also it differs between different companies, how it actually would end up being. But it can be the case where you, you drive product creation from the beginning, from the business case of why we build this up to the end, taking it to market. Whereas the other things, it could be, you know, just taking it to market and not really delving deep into the product. Miguel, if you have something to add, maybe you can add as well. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Uh, the only the only thing I would add is that thinking about people looking for a new role, uh, what I would do is uh, not trust as much in the job title because you can see sometimes a role that says product marketing, manager and then when you read the description it is like brand marketing or 
it is as uh, comms marketing. So it depends on what you want to what you want to do. So the same for for the opposite, right? If you find a role that if you want to do product marketing and if and you find a role that says brand marketing, look into it because uh, sometimes uh, as it happens in any uh, industry in any role, uh, the person writing down the the description sometimes doesn't have the full visibility of uh, each of the the uh, the roles. So uh, just wouldn't wouldn't try to I would try to check the job description and not focus only on the on the title uh, whether you are looking for a product marketing manager role or a marketing role that is not product marketing manager and that's a great point Miguel just to maybe add on that uh, what I've seen also is that in European markets the PMM role is not that evident at the moment so on, in US you would see a lot of roles which are just say a PMM directly in the in the heading but in European side of things, you might come across roles which are called product line manager or product marketing manager or only managing for the product, uh, which is only marketing manager. But inside, if you go in the details, you would find that, you know, there are roles which are actually PMM, just that the heading is not the right one because it's not that popular in Europe, at least at the moment. Yeah, definitely want to echo what you guys both said. Uh, there's definitely different flavors of product marketing and it differs by company. Uh, you know, in my past work experience, I had roles that were more focused on the go to market side. So leaning more heavily on the marketing uh, and, and launching the product. Uh, whereas right now, my role is more focused on uh, influencing the product, being closer to the product manager and understanding, you know, customer pain points. And so when you are looking at roles to apply to, I would definitely uh, ask, you know, the hiring manager what is the balance of inbound versus outbound kind of responsibilities? Some roles are very hybrid where they have a 50-50 kind of um, outlook, whereas others are you know, much more leaning heavily on one side or the other. Thanks everyone. I think it really speaks to the flexibility of being a product marketer and how you can really flex and adapt your skills to what you're more interested in um, as you pursue roles within product marketing. Um, I know we only have two minutes left. Uh, why don't we do a quick wrap up, perhaps one final question. How do you all measure success as a product marketer? I know we're in touch with so many different teams that we have so many different objectives. Curious how we measure success for each of you. Um, why don't we start with you, Lori? Um, hmm. I think at the end of the day, because we are such a customer centric uh, role, we want to understand, we want to make sure that the end user is experiencing the product as you intended it to be. You want to delight your customers, you want to make sure that you're delivering a valuable product. Um, so that's how I would um, set my goals uh, as a product marketing manager, but also, you know, in on more of the B2B side, uh, it's often tied more to revenue goals. Uh, so even as a PMM, um, you know, if you're if you're more in a hybrid role where you're doing both product, uh, clo being close to pro product as well as on the sales side, uh, I think your, you know, efforts are measured with how much revenue you were able to drive at the end of the day through your uh, go to market activities. Great. Mohit, what about you? Yeah, I think it really depends on what the company objectives are. From my experience, I have seen two different, very different kinds of operations here happening. When you are in a very big established kind of company, there's a high chance that, you know, maybe there's less space for growth and the objective is really adoption and really churning most money from the existing customers, which is what I've seen in my old company, which is Amadeus, where the objectives are really based upon adoption of the product. So users who are using it and how they are adopting what you're releasing and how you can make the most revenue, as Laurie said, from this customer base. On the other side of things, in a more hyper growth environment like Revolut, uh, what we really focus on today is really growth. So we're looking at customer numbers, lead numbers, how many leads we're generating per month, which are the indicators of success of the activities we are doing because today our most activities focus really on the outbound side of things, really get people to enter the funnel uh, in various ways. So it's about customer growth and number of leads. So that's essentially what we do. Great, thanks Mohit. Last input for the day, Miguel, what about you? How do you measure success as a PMM? 
Yeah, uh, I would say that uh, agreeing with uh, Laurie Mohit, it depends on the products we're working on and what's the goal for, for the product. So uh, I would focus on the key metric of whatever I'm trying to, to achieve, being revenue, being uh, reducing churn, uh, uh, anything that we are trying, trying to achieve with our, with our uh, strategy. But then as a PMM as well, I, uh, one thing that I measure, let's say personally, is like the quality of my relationships in the, in the company I'm working on. Uh, because as we discuss here, we are like in a central role with interacting with many different areas. So if uh, the, the relationships are not in a good place, uh, doing your job is going to be pretty difficult. So uh, as, uh, as a PMM in, in, in the role, I also have this, uh, regardless of the product of the project I'm on, uh, how I'm handling the relationships I need to to have for for that uh, for what I'm trying to achieve. Thanks, Miguel. Well, I know we're at time, but I want to thank everyone and all our panelists for sharing their valuable insights and thoughts, and for everyone for tuning in today. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.